Hello everyone, Ella here. Just got some more star forts I'd like to share with everyone. Um, Warsaw was a massive star fort and I'd um, like to show you some forts in Pol Poland, citadels in Poland. Um, Warsaw Citadel is a 19th century for fortress in Warsaw, Poland. It was built under the order of the Tsar Nicholas after the suppression of the 1830. November uprising in order to bolster the imperial Russian control of the city it served as a prison into the late 1930s especially the dreaded 10th pavilion of the Warsaw Citadel the later has been a museum since 1963 the fortress is a pentagon shaped brick structure with higher outer walls enclosing an area of 36 hectares its construction required the demolition of 76 residential buildings and the foreseeable risk resettlement of 15,000 inhabitants. Work on it commenced on 31st of May 1832 on the site of the demolished monastery and of the estate of Faraway. Officially it ended May 4th 1834 to mark the 18th birthday of the Russian crown Prince Alexander for whom it was named. In reality however the fortress was not completed until 1874. The cost of construction come to 11 million rubles roughly 8.5 tons of pure gold. Now some of these other star forts around the same time, they're saying they cost 430,000 um, pounds. It just doesn't make sense. Or 128 million euro in today's prices. A colossal sum by 19th century standards. And the entire city of Warsaw and the Bank of Poland. In the peacetime, some 5,000 Russian troops were stationed there. During the 1863 January Uprising, the garrison was reinforced to over 16,000. By 1863, the fortress housed 555 artillery pieces of various calibers. I'll leave the references in the link. So the Warsaw Fortress uh, was a system of fortifications built in Warsaw, Poland during the 19th century when the city was part of the Russian Empire. The fortresses belonged to a chain of fortress built in the Congress, Poland, the region adjacent to it during this period. It was built in stages with the first part known as the Warsaw Citadel, built in the years 1832-34, so two years to build it. In the immediate aftermath of the November Uprising of 1830, this initial fortification was then continually improved by additional further forts in its vicinity, with the work finally completed in 1874. Um, 1879, the government of the Russian Empire decided to carry out major expansions of the fortress, which would incorporate a system of large forts surrounding the whole city. Twenty forts forming the new system were constructed between 1883 and 1890. There were plans to combine the Warsaw Fortress with the nearby Molden Fortress by building a chain of connecting forts, but this work was only carried out partially. I won't show that picture, sorry. There we go, it's better. So, as you can see, it just had a, a massive line around them with this, the main citadel in the middle. covered in debris. Boyan Fortress is a form of a Prussian fortress located in the western part of, I can't say this word, I don't want to offend people, sorry. Um, well, this word, I only speak English, so, and I've never been overseas, so I do apologise. Uh, northeastern Poland is situated on a narrow isthmus between two large lakes of the Marusian Lake District. Um, it was named after a Russian minister, built between 1844 and 1856, or 1843 and 1855, according to other sources by order of the King Frederick William, with a workforce of about 3,000 soldiers. So here we have it here, the Boyan Fortress.
looks like I've had a canal. Greensburg. It's had a moat. This is a Caldisco Fortress, a unique fortification complex with a lower Sicilian voidership in the southwestern Poland. The fortress was one of the biggest strongholds in the Prussian Sicily. However, the whole German in the whole German Empire, it was regarded as a minor one. Now, together with an extensive network of tunnels, it's one of the largest attractions of the town with an underground labyrinth and a repository of different objects from old fire engines to local glassware. So, it's a very old place. So it was there in the Middle Ages, 1114. Fortified Front Order Waffenbergen, or I can't say these names, I severely apologise, um, was a fortified military defence line of Nazi Germany between the Order and the Water Rivers. The part around Matisse has been colloquially referred as the, I can't say this, I apologize. Built in 1934 to 44, it was the most technically advanced fortification system of the Nazi Germany and remains one of the largest and the most interesting systems in the type of the world today. It consists of around 100 concrete defense structures partly interconnected by a network of tunnels and some of the forts and tunnels are visible, available for visiting. The most interesting part is the central section which begins in the south the so-called Borsian Loop near the village of Borsian and extends about 12 kilometers to the north. Other interesting parts, um, the system of tunnels are 32 kilometers long and up to 40 meters deep in the underground system. There are also railway stations, workshops, engine rooms and barracks. So this is massive, this place. Molden Fortress is one of the largest 19th century fortresses in Poland. It was originally located in this place, in the district of Molden, near the Nauru River, approximately 50 kilometers north of Warsaw. Originally constructed by the French in the years 1806 to 1812, the main barrack located within the complex is the longest building in Europe at 2,250 meters in length. So it wasn't until 1656 that a permanent fortified position was built there by the Swedish armies during the deluge. It was a star-shaped fortified military camp. It had a wooden bridge over it. And the Swedish army used to be for hire. They were one of the best armies in the world. So this is the Molden Fortresses. It's quite a few goes around a bit. It's there as well. Here. I think it's on this, yeah, it's on this side as well. As you can see here. Even on this side. Let's show the Warsaw Fortress. Sometimes it's from around. 
just the shapes. Oswick Fortress is a 19th century fortress located in northeastern Poland, built by the Russian Empire. Saw heavy fighting during World War I, where it was abstainly defended for several months by the Russian garrison against German attacks. Fortress was built in the years between 1882 and 1892 as one of the defensive works to protect the western borders of Russia against Germany. Continually modernized. The old antique tech up here. Premzel Fortress, um, constructed at Premzel by the Austro Hungarian Empire from the mid 19th century until the First World War. It was constructed in sections depending on the original diplomatic relations between Austria and the Russian Empire. It saw extensive combat during World War One originally captured by the Russian army and it was recaptured by the German army in mid-1915. Afterwards, the ruined fortifications lost their military significance. The initial construction plans for 41 entrenchments were drawn up at the beginning of the 19th century. However, good relations between Austria and the Russian Empire meant that construction did not go ahead until 1854 with the outbreak of the Crimean War. 19 of the 41 entrenchments were completed with nine more under constructions when relations again improved in 1855 and constructions halted. Here we have the fortress layout, citadel in the middle and then all the other little ones around the outside to protect them. I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching these videos and giving um, opinions and information as well. Thank you. Now I apologise, I have trouble saying this. So Fort Sabrina Gora or Silver Mountain Fort is a former military fort, now a monument and museum located in the town here, Little Silver Mountain. It was constructed in 1765 to 1770 when the territory was part of the Kingdom of Prussia. Fort is once one of Poland's official national historic monuments. The fort has been called the Gibraltar of Russia with reference to its solid bedrock. So it's got the years it was built. It was intended to guard a route linking Prussian ter territories with Bohemian lands in the south thus help repel any possible incursions from Austria. Cost of the construction was reported at 4.5 million Prussian dollars. Wow. Fort's open to tourists. Okay, so we got an aerial view of the fort here. That's the design. The Toron Fortress, um, built in 1872 to 1894 by the Kingdom of Prussia, it was located in Thorn, now Poland. It is one of the largest fortresses in Central and Eastern Europe. Fortress complex, a chain of forts surrounding the city, as well as numerous smaller fortifications supplementing it, it was intended to defend the eastern border of Prussia with the Russian Empire. Despite much planning and investment, the fortress did not play a significant role in the First World War nor any later conflict. <clears throat> it started the construction in 1872 of French prisoners of war taken during the Fransco Prussian War. The goal was to build a chain of forts surrounding the town of Thorn. The initial plans called for five main forts and two medium ones to be constructed. Within 32 years, about 200 fortifications were constructed. 
primarily the forts, consisted of seven main forts, six medium sized, six artillery batteries, 32 infantry shelters, and 52 midfield shelters used for artillery and ammunition. I'll leave the links up in the description. How did the dirt get on top? How did that much? Just a, one of the Truon fortresses that surrounded the town. I think one of these is used as a warehouse. Here's the town. Another one here. Here's another one of the little ones here. Um, Whistle Jos I can't say this, Whistle Josie Fortress. Um, it's on the Mantua Rissa River by an old estuary of the River Whistler, flowing back in the Bay of Gendesk. Portrait is located close to the Whistle Bra. Different parts of the fortress are clearly different architectural style, styles, predominantly Gothic, and different styles and structure and building material. Thus, the result of the fortress being built every time it was destroyed or badly damaged. The basement in the foundation of the fortress is based upon wooden crates, which are hidden underneath the water. On top of these structures, rubble was heaped up, strengthened, providing stable and strong base for the fortress. Part of the fortress's base is a circular tower, currently devoid of the coping, which until 1785 was used as a lighthouse. The lighthouse surrounded by a brick flat also known as a circular battery, whose inner walls are sealed together with the offices of around quarters. Around the battery there is a four bastion fort carry, which is led by the gatehouse and the postern from 1609. The northwestern side of the fort carry is adjoined to the Mosswala River, while the rest of the fortress is separated off from land by Skong. Okay. Lighthouse tower was toppled and um, burnt due to a fire caused by lightning. Wow. In 1945, due to heavy artillery strikes, the tower was almost completely destroyed. In 1959, the tower was added to the Register of Heritage Sites and reconstruction of the fortress began. Okay, so here's the fortress. It's a star fort and a star fort. It's the same shape worldwide. It's unreal. There was supposed to be another one here. Yeah. The whole area it was. It's like a star fort city. But yeah, the whole area has it as a defense. The way it's been carved out is unreal.
I'm sure I'm missing more, let's say. I'm sure there's lots that haven't been found. The Zem Mosque Fortress is a set of fortifications constructed together with the city of Zem Mosque. It was built between 1579 and 1618, and the construction was initiated by Chancellor Hetman Jan Zemolski. It was one of the biggest fortresses of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Built so solidly that it was able to resist the attacks of both the Cossacks and the Swedes during the deluge. It was taken down in 1886, although fragments survived. Altogether, the fortress went through six sieges, with the first one taking place in 1648. Eight years later, it was surrounded by the Swedes, who came in there again in 1703 and then 1809 by the, the army of the Duchy of the Warsaw, which captured it from the Austrians. The longest one was the siege of Zemusk of 1813, when the Polish garrison for eight months defended the fortress from the Russians. The last siege took place during the November uprising when Zemus was the last point of the Polish defence which fell to the Russians. The fortress, which had been in the meantime become obsolete, was closed down in 1866. <coughs> so I'll leave the links up. Bastions were enlarged, walls were strengthened, defended by 4,700 soldiers. So, how big underneath are these places? Of course, everything gets pricked up. seems to be any photos of the buildings in progress. There was photos of that time. Must have had a moat at some stage too. And the dirt on the roof. How did they get that up there? And here we got the Zemos fortress. So we've got a, a star within a star. massive this one looks like it's had a, a moat come in There's something there too The Zegris Fortress is a military structure located in Zegris, Poland, on a high escarpment over the Nuru River. Built in the late 19th century by the Russian Empire, it was to guard a river crossing modernized between 1902 and 1907. It was part of the so-called Warsaw Fortified Area, comprising of three major nodes, the Warsaw Fortress, the Molden Fortress, and the Zegir. The main body of the fortress consisted of two forts joined with earthwork fortification, the so-called large fortification and small fortification. In addition to that, the fortress also commanded two additional units. Fort Deeb, located some 10 kilometers downstream in the direction of Molden, and Fort Benjaminau, located across the Nuru. Apart from fortifications, the complex included barracks at Benjaminau, Zarabi, and Zegri seven munition deposits and a garrison church. I apologize for saying these names wrong. So this was the area of the Zegrini's fort to protect the river. I think this was once part of it as well. See up here the way it goes. And I'll just quickly show Fort Benjamin now, so you can clearly see it's been overgrown. I wonder how many are still like this covered. 
over there. This is just some more parts of the citadel in Warsaw. I just wanted to show you how old this is. of the moat. So it's, it doesn't have a year. And another part of the entry to the citadel. Very thick walls. I think the world wars were to destroy the antiquitech and the buildings that were left behind. Fort Winery. Fort Winery was first constructed under the Prussian rule of the 19th century. It was the main fort in that system and it was among the first elements to be constructed. Detailed plans were approved on the 21st of February 1829 and the name Fort Winnie, Winery soon came to be applied as the fort was situated on a hill where the two villages called Winery, the name alluding to the vine cultivation which had once taken place there. The fort would later become popularly known as Hunzin's Citadel. So, redo is a fortified structure such as Citadel or a keep into which defending troops can retreat when the outer defences are breached. The term is also used to describe the area of a country which are rings through of Haiti for fortifications. Thank by four redoubts. So that goes on to explain how the construction of it was. The telegraph was added in 1903 and the fort was further reinforced in 1910. I'll add the links here for you. So here's Fort Winery and the Ponzian Fort Ponzian Fortress Quite a big system And it had little outposts all the way around it and There's another one here, this one had some really tragic events happen in the World War Two. Tragic. And this is another one. I'd love to clear the. I mean, it's horrible to clear trees, but it'd be interesting to see what's there. I reckon they're all linked by tunnels, too. And this is the one that has tunnels that go um, 32 kilometers long and 40 meters deep in under here. Here we got the molded. So we got a star inside of a star. Inside of a star. I think I showed that one. 
Yeah, it's got that side. Sorry, it's hard to keep up with times. Yeah, I've shown you them. I've shown the wolf saw. This one is a bit under. Still, you can see the outline. Just see the outline through the trees. Comes up here. Goes all the way. I reckon it would have had a moat all the way around it. And then the city would have also, it would have little citadels all around it that would link in. It's one of the first ones, yeah. I'm going to show you Lubart's Castle Citadel. Just in here. All these places are built close to the water too. Here we got the Krakow Fortress, Fort 52A. So we've got a big castle, which is another citadel here. It's a star fort. Protecting the home. Two bastions. So it has a little one there and a moat there. So it would have had structures all around, protecting all around. Another bastion here, citadel. You can see the star sort of shape there. like a pentagon. This one we got Kuna's, Kuna's Ford. I apologize for saying this wrong. Here we got the Caldes Co Fortress. Built up on several layers by the look of it and comes right out. And we got Fort Sabrina, Sabrina Gora. Beautiful designs. Much of this is covered in trees and dirt. Goes out here too. I've found so many. We got the Pozan fortress, a set of fortifications um, in Western Poland under the Prussian rule of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Represents the third largest kind in Europe. The first set of fortifications was a tight defensive ring around central Pruntan, including the main citadel called Fort Winery, now the Citadel Park. Constructions of these fortifications began in 1828, later beginning in 1876. An outer defensive ring was built around the perimeter of the city, consisting chiefly of a series of forts mostly, which still survive.
You would have been full of water or why is that like that? It's had fire. Um, four, seven, I'm not going to mention this one too much, it upset me when I read it before. Um, between 4,500 and 20,000 people, mostly Poles, from Pozan and surrounding regions died while imprisoned in this citadel, star fort. Um, it's, yeah. It's very sad. I'll leave the links up in the description. Sorry, I just can't read it. I'll get too upset. This is it here. I showed before quickly. Cow Coal Fortress Fort 52A was part of the Cow Coal Fortress between 1896 and 1902. Other sources say 1897, 1898. Fortress was built to enforce defense the south flank of the fortress, ruling over the part of the road connecting Vienna and live. Fortress has four towers equipped with 8cm M94 artillery guns. It is one of 14 smaller forts built during the same time, which is used to enforce the outer defence ring in the city near the fort. There was an artillery battery used for long range defence, no longer in use. Here's a bit more of it. All the wars that were going on, how did they have this endless supply of money to build stuff and find men? It just doesn't make sense. Like the other one was eight tons of gold. Bastion 3 Kelparts is a standard redund fortification in Caracal. From the 1856 to 1866 period, it's part of the Kalkal Fortresses. Now, live venue, live venue for music, 200 person concert hall, as well as two bars. Here it is here, Bastion 3. You can see that clearly. Caracal Bar Bician, a fortified outpost once connected to the city walls. It is a historic gateway leading to the old town of Caracal, Poland. Uh, it's one of the few remaining relics of the complex networks of fortifications and defensive barriers that once encircled the royal city of Caracal in South Poland. It currently serves as a tourist attraction. Built around 1498. It's only one of such three fortified outposts still surviving in Europe and is best preserved. It has a moated cylinder brick structure in a courtyard, 2.24 metres in outer diameter, seven turrets, its three metre thick walls hold 110 embursaries. Link to the city walls, covered passageway led through St. Florence Gate and also served as a checkpoint for who entered the city. Participated in the defense in um, 1587 against the siege of Caracal. So, built of brick and stone, stood for a full toys tall, had seven watchtowers, the walls about three meters or nine foot, 9.8 feet at their base and 0.5 meters, one foot, 7.7 7 inches at the top. It's quite a decent size. And these ones have still got the Antiquitech at the top. And here, it's that bird again. It 
So if you're still here at the end, I'd just like to say thank you for hanging around and spending this time with me on learning this. And hit the like if you've got a suggestion, pop it in the comments and subscribe. See ya.